So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to turn concept art into actual skins. So first of all, we're going to open up Blender here, just create a new general project, AX Delete. Make sure I have my screencast keys on, so that way you can actually see what I'm doing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Import, OBJ, and if I'm going too fast, you have YouTube features to slow it down. So I'm just going to open up um, this, you can find it in KEA, KEA has probably been mentioned a thousand times by this point. But now what I'm going to do is, now that I have this and I scaled it down to a 0 0.01, I'm going to do Control A to apply the scale to it. What this will do is it will make it so that way the scale right here is at 1, making it more realistic. So I'm going to press no 1 on the numpad, or if you're on a um, laptop, you go to Edit, Preferences, over 2, input and you do an emulate numpad what this will do is it'll have your top key, as it says right here main one to zero keys act as numpad once useful for laptops or people who don't have a numpad on their keyboard so now what we're going to do is we're going to do shift a to add a camera with this with the camera we're going to set its type to orthographic and now we're going to press control alt zero to bring it to our current view and now our orthographic scale we're going to just scale this up so that way we have the entire skin in view. We can also press G and move this around to what we see fits. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press Z and go into render view. Set our color of our background to completely white. This is going to be useful later. Now what you'll see right here is that it's very difficult to make this out. I mean if you have a very low quality display like I do on this preview on my second monitor, then you're not going to really be able to tell. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, enable all three of these things so that way you can kind of see little bits of it. Then we're going to scroll down to freestyle, check that, come into this tab which is the C which is the um view layer properties. I don't even know at this point. I just click it and I know what it is. Come down here to where it says logical or and check material boundary. Now if we press F twelve to render out, it'll do that and it'll have this nice view where we can actually see the entire skin in its entirety and where it's going to look like. Now then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here into our vertex groups, UV maps. Currently our UV map selected looks like this, which is your traditional UV map. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press plus on this, press camera, tab, A, U, and we're going to press project from view. What this will do now is if we look at our new UV, it'll look like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to press F12 to render it out, have that nice overlay come on, press space, save as, and let's just save this right about here, and we're just going to call this um, AK out. Now, forgive my terrible skills at general whatever, but so we're going to go find that. It might take a little bit to load. I'm going to open it with your desired image editor. For my example, I'm going to be using GIMP. GIMP is free. It's download. I mean, just look it up. If you're too poor to use Photoshop, then use GIMP. Um, then, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to do something super simple. I'm just going to, for tutorial's sake, create a gradient. Um, this isn't a GIMP tutorial, so I won't be tutorialing GIMP. <laughs> you can figure that out on your own, or just look at tutorials, just mess around with things. I mean, I always recommend messing around. If you, if you ever want to do learn anything, just mess around. Um, so now, obviously this doesn't look great, it's not supposed to, this is a tutorial, this is a super fast tutorial, that's why I'm speaking very fast. So I'm just going to rename that to wherever I want, save it wherever I want, and then export it as PNG format. You can export it as a JPEG, but PNG saves more image data. I mean, if you really want to get technical, you can use the bitmap format, which compresses no data whatsoever. Now what we do is we go over here to shading, shift A. Do an image, search for an image texture, put the color into the base color, open, and let's open our output. Now what you see instantly, because we've selected this second UV map, is that it's like this. So you can actually see it's exactly how we want it. So because of that outline that we have when we rendered, there's going to be an outline around here. Now with this outline, obviously the UV, if we go over here, we actually realize that it isn't the real skin. It isn't like in the real skin of the texture of this. So we try to do it like that, then and go into shading and use that UV. It's going to look messed up. So how can we transfer from this UV pattern to this? 
Well, obviously, that's basically the entire point of this tutorial. We go into Texture Paint, press N over here, Tool, uh, make sure you're at Clone Mode, do Single Image, Create a New. For this example, I'm just going to do a 2K image or 2048 by 2048 square. Now, what we do is from the sync first UV map, clone from paint slot with our source clone image as that AK, and then our source UV map as this, and literally we just start painting it on. It can't be that, it can't just be any easier. You literally paint the skin on. Isn't that amazing? You have a concept art to an actual skin in less time than it takes for you to go to the, sh to the supermarket and buy yourself toilet paper. Well, I mean scaling toilet paper at this time. It's probably an old joke by now. So I'm going to just paint around it. You can probably, uh, you, you probably can't see what I'm doing, but actually you should be able to. Just enable, disable, re-enable that. So just moving around with the mouse button and just dragging around. You might get some lag. You might get some frame drops as you're doing it especially if you have a really high um if you have like a really slow computer or a really high quality texture get trying to transfer the uvs might not be the quickest of things but what we see over here is that our final result after doing some fiddling around is that we have this nice texture which if we go into our shading select that and select our uv as the traditional uv it actually appears correct and what we can do is go back to texture paint image save as and call this just you know whatever you want then that can be a complete skin that you can put into a mod anything that's this super quick tutorial over it's only been seven minutes you are you i'm me thank you